Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is Disclosure, coming to you from the frozen plains of sunny western New York State, south of Rochester, north of Hell, in Sinus Valley. And I want to take a look at uh, these lines. There's some other stuff over here I want to take a look at, too. Maybe we'll do that first. I found some more of those enigmatic lines that are there on Mars. And whatever they are, they're not a photographic glitch, and they're not natural. Now, here we have what are apparently buildings. It's pretty obvious that we're looking at something that's not natural, folks. Mm, soon be upright. They have almost a Stonehenge appearance, to be honest. Why don't we go ahead and we'll take this one down a little. Not really Stonehenge appearance, but kind of a U-shaped architecture to them. I don't know how else to put it. At least it appears that way on that side. And you can see the shadows are casting. This isn't natural. Seriously doubt that it's natural. Question is, why are we being BS'd into believing that it is? Well, I'm not buying their BS. I'm all done with them. In a lot of cases, they're right. In a lot of cases, they really are rocks and some misidentifications. And that's okay. Because in a lot of cases, they're wrong. And they are trying to hide things. Take a look at the thing in the center of the screen. That looks a little on the suspicious side. But I'm going to have to go back to my uh, place mark and take a look at... We're going to take a look at those tracks. Tracks are not photographic glitch as near as I can tell. I can't find them, I'll have to get out my place mark and there it is. Well here's what I'm talking about. I showed tracks once before that actually follow the contour of a hill which proves that they're not what we call it, they're not actually a photographic glitch because a photographic glitch wouldn't do that. These are pretty straight. They remind me more of pipes, to be honest with you. Um, possibly even a bridge. Let's go over here and take a look at them. They're perfectly straight. They're not a photographic bug. Certain of that photographic bug wouldn't look like this. In fact, they seem to be made up of small tubular or cylindrical things. I'm not really sure that are uh, transversely uh, aimed. I don't know how else to put it. Then they move over. No point in my using my arrows because I'm uh, got this right in the center of the screen, so my arrows wouldn't help you find it. I'm assuming everybody can see it. These are not photographic glitches. You get close to them, you can see. I don't know what they are. Like I said, I suspect that they're just rows and rows of maybe something like tanks. As a some kind of fluid tank, perhaps. 
not tanks in the military sense. That's one hypothesis I have. Remember the gravity on Mars is a fraction of that on Earth. It's nowhere near as much, so they can get away with things there on Mars that we couldn't here on Earth. Those structures don't have to be anywhere near as strong. And here the lines don't quite match up. You look on the one side of a structure, lines coming off the right are not lined up with the ones coming off the left, which is another indication this is not a photographic bug. And that's what I was looking for, just to find out if this was perhaps a bug of some kind in the photos, but I don't see how that could be, to be honest with you. Take a brief look at this. Something don't look right there. Nothing too bad. Now you have a whole patch of these lines, and I'm unable to identify what we're seeing here. Perhaps cultivated roads. This distance, uh, we're quite a ways away, so it'd be tough to tell. Okay, it's 29 kilometers, which I don't know what that translates into real units. So, you can take your pick, but. I'm gonna have to see if I can change, change that into, uh, miles so I know what I'm dealing with. Meantime, these tracks are not natural. Absolutely not. What they are remains a mystery for now. But I want to show you one other thing though. Looks like an impact crater, right? Well, not exactly. Actually, it looks like one of those hoods, and this apparently, my guess is they photographed a vehicle going into it. Right there in the center of the screen. It even leaves a bit of a trail. So what I'm thinking is we have some kind of agriculture going on, or industry something. This is not natural. There's things going on on that planet. And of course, NASA won't admit to it. But that's the way it is with them. That's why they get called Nat never a straight answer. In my book, they have every responsibility to tell the public if they have alien contact. Not not just the right, but the responsibility, because we're the ones who pay the bills. And because we pay the bills, uh, we're the ones that need to be informed of what's going on on that planet and on this one, too. It isn't just on that planet that we have problems. You know, here we have this stuff going across, and this isn't photographic glitch, people. And it's not natural. Question is, what kind of industry do we see here? Is it current, or did it happen in the past? Well, from our perspective, it happened in the past. And here's something interesting. Almost looks like a tower with windows on it, doesn't it? Interesting place. I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but... 
my thinking is we're seeing some kind of industry and of course the usual buildings right there this is not a crater it's not a hill or anything natural all I can say is you know pressure NASA make your own videos study this tell people let somebody know you're not being told the truth they're lying through their teeth and you know it anybody who's paying attention knows that NASA's a habitual liar to the people. And that's about it for this session. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Appreciate you watching. And I will keep studying uh, Google Earth and other photos and We'll try to find things for you. These are tracks. They're not. They're uh, definitely something artificial going on on that planet. No question about it. I'm Artifacts of Mars.